Welcome back everybody to some more everybody's golf on PlayStation 4. I thought as it's snowing outside, <laughs> I'd play um, Namrong Bay because it looks lovely and warm wherever in the world this is supposed to be. Um, championship tees, Tornado Cups, so we should get some decent scoring. Uh, and we're going to play the Outward 9. So yeah, it's snowing in the UK today. Brilliant. Um, so Namrong Bay, all about the water. Um, mega um, Tornado Cups, so... We should be able to counteract the increase in length of championship tees gives us because the cup's just going to make putting and chipping so much simpler. Um, and also, I kind of want to look at some of the course strategy around this. I've played it I'm sure. What happens when you're on championship tees? We've, of course, got the big clubs out. Um, but, well, because we want to set a score. But we might have a look at this maybe in a week or so's time with normal clubs. So, three metres wind. A little bit uphill. Tornado Cup. So I want to get this over the pin. Ah, swayed way left, doesn't it? Yeah. That sway feature I just don't know. Like. I should just stop using backspin. Um, it should be a pretty straightforward birdie. Bag of birdie. <laughs> nice and easy. And um, we've never played these holes or set a score. So Hole this two. is all new it's a par three. territory. So par 3, 230. Which means it's a longish iron. But again, nothing really to worry about. I'm going to put a little bit of a um, slice on it. Just to give us a bit more fairway to aim at. Yeah, I was a little bit worried about that water there. And I'm rightly so. That wasn't bad. We just went past, didn't we? I didn't counter the wind too well. However, it gives us some chipping practice, and we all know I like a bit of chipping practice. And with Tornado Cuts, frankly, it's a joke. But, you know, we'll go through the pretense, and we hit the pin! Ha! So that was a good chip in any case. And we get the rising shot. That's some points. 61 points extra for that. Always like the bonus points. So three's a par five. It's a par five. Now this one normally you can kind of drive pretty easily. Yeah, we're still drivable. Didn't get all of it. Good shot. Should be okay though. Yeah, my worry now is running off to the left. You just need to hold, my friend. Yeah, it's okay. Imagine it that another couple of yards and be in that casual water. So it's going to kick right. Wind's going to bring it back. So it's going to kick left. And the wind's going to bring it back to the right. Again, seven iron. Oh, we've missed the impact. We're now in the hands of the water gods. Yeah. So we're in the water. That's going to make life tricky. This is going to make life very interesting. I don't think I've ever chipped out of the water. Why well, is the first time for everything? Ha! Ha! That was a ridiculous chip. I'm gonna have about 15 times wow, around the hole. I want to see that again. That was dreadful. Oh, there you go. That's the definition of the outer limit of a tornado cup. There you go. Takes a wow. while to drop. So we get ourselves an eagle in, in auspicious circumstances, shall we say? We get us to four under. All four. The four. Now, you can usually drive the green here on normal tees, but there's no way. Well, I say there's no way. We could have a crack at this. I mean, this could get wet. This could get very wet. Genzo likes it, so it looks like we might just skip it. Ooh. One, two, oh, we're running out of steam. Ah. So you can't quite, you can't quite make that with those clubs. And now we're game. out the rough. Got to hit this. Great shot. Mm. <laughs> yeah, so... I want a bit of fairway this time. So, what's this? Fifth? Yeah, okay. 
So we've made a comprehensive hash of this hole. Great but you know, track. we're exploring the course, trying to work out what shots play. Championship tees, can't drive the green. What? Don't ignore the gate. Alright, bit of chip in practice. And it does mean we can come back here and, and improve. Because being worse than this would be... Oh, we fluffed it. That's oh, nice. uh, got a chance if it holds it. Yeah, it might hold it. What's that? Trip double bogey? Nice approach. I didn't even go in. Got rejected. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. The triple bogey, ladies and gentlemen. The triple bogey. Hold five. Par four. Okay, again, you can usually drive pretty close here. Here we've got headwind. So we've got to be careful here. Excellent. Well, that's going to come up short. Oh, it just makes the fairway. It's okay. So 50 yards to go. So we get an approach. Bit of wind. A little bit downhill. Pretty full blooded as well. We might get a bit of spin. Yeah. It's on. Did you check it. So we never really had the eagle on the cards there, but we can have the birdie putt. Bag the break. So back to two. Hole six. Part now again, this one, you're normally hitting into a really tough part of the fairway. Yeah, you're, not, you're never going to make that green over there. So this is going to be about getting a bit of shape on it. And getting it on the on the green stuff. Excellent. Miss the spin. Oh, and that needs to hold up. No. That was, that was a miss hit. Let's just see if we can get it onto the, onto the green. The fairway. No, not the rough. Oh. It's the shape of that fairway is bloody awful. Um, so again, in a bit of trouble here behind the curve. Great shot. That's not bad. Well, in the circumstances, that was pretty it's decent. Time. Let me get a birdie Get up. It's another perfect way to play that hole. But there you go. There's more to come here. Hole seven. It's a far three. So this is this elevated green. It's a bit downwind. Oh. Overhit. Excellent. Yeah, just gonna go past. Problem is hard to stop it there. It plays to the front edge. And you're on quite a longish iron, so you're not kind of just drop on the green. I'm nervous just watching. Sloping up. That's easy enough, Pop. Makes a birdie. So four under, two holes to go. It's a par four. That's another one. Now normally you have to kind of hold up to avoid running out the back there. That's the opposite problem here of making sure we get it the right way. Missed it. Missed it big time. That's going to be super wet. Ooh. Oh, it's playable out of that Careful water. Of okay. Oh, we just have to hit it. That's all we can do. Got it. I could watch this all day. Wow, far too hard. But again, control out of the water is just impossible. But we get a shot at a chip. Get it somewhere close and let the cup grab it there. 
So again, not the perfect way to um, play that hole, but strangely effective for the birdie. That's one. Hold on. It's a par four. So again, nine, all about picking a landing spot. Can't really go for any. Well, you could go for somewhere up there, but that seems risky. Let's just go for something conservative. I could watch this all day. Give ourselves a good second shot, hopefully. Oh, saying that, that's going to run out. It's going to end up in the water. That was the right hand sway for you. Got absolutely ruined. So we get a drop and a penalty. Not at all impressed with that tee shot. Nice shot. On the other hand, the second shot's not bad. So we get a par putt at least. So we're going to finish at five under. But considering we had the triple bogey and now I'm moving my mouse pointer like you can see on the screen. Uh, take that triple bogey out, it's not a bad round. But again, still lots of room to improve. Yeah, and we just didn't hit the greens and furries, did we? We were messing about. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you next time for some more of your videos.